Hi, and welcome to Wino Hour episode 31. Yay! I am here with D Student Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm doing a little bit of a different setup today, but hopefully it'll work out. I'm going to try not to move too much because apparently it's going to fuzzy out a bit. So, um, like I said, it's me and D Student Anonymous. Yay! <laughs> so, um, it's behind the scenes of the wine Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hi. Hello. Yeah, I want to say hi to all the twisted queens out there. Woo! Woo! Yay! All right, so I have a question for you, D Student Anonymous. What is the craziest thing you have done? I oh, had um. I say a threesome. Really? Yeah. How did that go? I don't know. My my wife may be watching, and I don't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to incriminate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, D student anonymous. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, oh, it was recent too. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, nice. Cool. Awesome. So, um, can you go ahead and des describe our Vegas trips to people? Like just just choose a couple of things and that you think are crazy. Yeah. The first thing you shouldn't do is uh, go to sleep for what thirty something hours. What happens? <laughs> well, that's what I did last time. So. Uh, yeah. So, do you know? Do you remember anything or no? Yeah, I remember uh, uh, going to that uh, the X Y exit. Going to that. Uh, I don't know what was it like. It looked like a uh, some, some like the Charles Manson. Ranch. Oh, Zizix Road. Yes. Yeah. So that was, that was one of the things I remember that I, I liked the most. Yeah, that's um some of the side trips that we do. Uh, last time we went, oh, not last time, but um, yeah, two times ago <laughs> we went. Yeah, that place um, was creepy. We saw like I don't know, like the empty swimming pool. It looked like they sacrificed virgins there. Yeah, it was pretty creepy. Mm -hmm. There's some guy <laughs> that was peeking out the window, and he had like this full-on beard, looked like kind of a wild child, kind of a guy, back. <laughs> but he's like all white hair, he's older, and it's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, it looked like they, they would do like medical experiments there. Yeah. But that was one of the things that I liked the most. That's pretty cool. Yeah, his, that was... His name is Dave, and he works at Cal State. Oh. oh. <laughs> his name's Dave, and he works at Cal State, <laughs> apparently. So... Um, I have some quick questions, and I need quick answers. Sure. Okay, so what do you say, Batman or Superman? Superman. Iron Man or Captain America? Oh, Iron Man. Chinese food or Italian? Chinese. If you had to get butt raped, would you pick an Adam Cruise? Or, oh, would you pick Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt? Oh, and both. Okay, Why? Both. It's an obvious. I think, oh, Tom Cruise. Tom, I think Tom Cruise is. Uh, is it because he looks like he has a little weenie? I want to feel it though. I don't want. To. <laughs> <laughs> you want to feel it? Oh, he wants to feel it. Okay, so both, but in the end, Tom Cruise. Yeah. Because he wants to feel it. What is your latest fascination? And why? This is for both of us. Okay. Okay. Your turn. This fascination. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what's yours? What's mine? <laughs> oh, you're going to throw it right back at yeah. me. All right. Hmm. Latest fascination. I started reading this book um, series. I It's um, about this child. He grew up in the Nazi era. Mm -hmm. and it's a German kid. And it just kind of follows him from when he was in school from elementary age up until high school um, so far um, but it, it tells you his perspective and his viewpoint of it and how you know they were brainwashed and lied to as kids obviously um, to go ahead and think about 
things a certain way. Okay. <laughs> so I guess it's a trash can head. Oh, God. So anyway, um, yeah, it's kind of interesting, you know, um, seeing it from that perspective because a lot of times you see it from other people's perspective. Um, like the American's perspective or the Jewish perspective and you know everyone has their own way of looking at things but looking at it from a child's eyes and a child's view viewpoint is totally different um, and this story series it's it's based on a true story okay. so um, it's just really interesting because I had family that um, survived the World War II era and they were over in Germany and they had to flee their country and stuff and seek refuge and everything so what the hell? Somebody's throwing anyway, shit at me. All right, so that's my fascination. <laughs> so just trying to find out about that and my German family history and stuff like that. Um, that's That could be a whole different segment of a show that just can go on forever. So, um, But as far as you, mm -hmm. what's your fascination? Well, right now I'm into uh, watching Game of Thrones. Uh. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, it's, no, it's, it's on my list of things yes, to do. It's, it's violent and it has tits, so that's why I like it. <laughs> violent tits. You can't go wrong with that? No, nope, can't go wrong with that at all. Cool, cool. Is there a favorite character that you have on there? Uh, yeah, Tyrion. He's, okay. a, he's a little guy. Oh, the little guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone likes a little guy. He reminds me of Joey, but like in small size. Like. Oh my god, <laughs> scary. <laughs> <laughs> so... Go ahead. No, because he's always uh, um, he's smart, and uh, he's always want to watch the you know the, the he's always asking the girls to show him his t the her tits. So <laughs> <laughs> really, yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give a shout out to a D student right now. Um, D student Kelly Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Uh, thanks for doing the Instagram account for D student girls. So you guys should check it out. Support the new Instagram page, D Student Girls. Um, give her some love. Give Kelly some love. Uh, she's on Facebook as well. Um, I want to give a shout out to a new Twisted Queen called Bug. If you go on the Twisted Queen page, you'll see her photo album. Right now, there's only one picture. There's more to come. Don't worry. We'll definitely put more up. So really excited for her to join our team. Um, so our plans for Vegas. Uh, it's party, party, party. Yeah. <laughs> One more week. One more week. One week to go. Literally. So we leave Friday morning. Um, I still have to think of a place where we we're going to stop. Because we always do a side trip. And just for an hour or so, we'll stop and check some random place out. Well, so somewhere you haven't uh, gone before? Mm -hmm. Or is it yeah. like random? There's actually, <laughs> on the way, there's... um. Egypt, Egyptian Orthodox Church, mm -hmm. Orthodox Christian Church over um, by the Dolores theme park over there um, that's abandoned. So that place is creepy too. So oh well, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be fun. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I'm thinking <laughs> about it, but I mean, I think it might be causing trouble if we go and see the, go to the church. So it's a kind of like a convent kind of a thing. So. Um, but yeah, no, we're gonna. There's gonna be definitely a lot of partying, a lot of drinking, staying up late, and not sleeping. <laughs> so I'm. I, last time we went there, we had a pretty crazy party in the room. We're having. We're gonna get the same room as last time. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Did uh, anybody? Everybody get naked in the room? Oh my God! There's so many naked people in that room, but not me. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? How come? I'm just a little bit more conservative, um, <laughs> as far as that goes. Do we see Joey's? Uh, do we see his penis again? Actually, I don't think his penis came out that night. No. Well, no. What the hell's wrong with you? How come you didn't show your penis? Did no. I fucking see through shower in front of everyone on one of the trips? Um. Yeah. Well, we had a see through shower last time, also. Okay. Um. And yeah, but there's been for, <laughs> because there, we always get sweets. Uh, all those uh, showers are see-through, and it's just like the way it is. So you just try to take a shower when everyone's asleep, or <laughs> you hang up a towel and wish for the best. <laughs> so what kind of drinking games are you going to have? Um, there's some... Okay, so we had this spin your rooney thing where you spin the wheel and tells you what to do and do some weird, crazy stuff, right? Or mm -hmm. truth or dare stuff. Yeah. 
But do you do you but always do that, those games every time you you're in Vegas or? We try to set it up so at least one time our group is together and we do the, a party game. That way everyone feels like they're you know part of the group and they're part of the action. They're all having fun. Uh, that's the main part. You know, you go yeah. to Vegas with everybody. And you don't want someone feeling like they're left out. Oh, everybody takes care of each other. That's yeah. what I, that's what I like about the Vegas trips too. Right, right. So. Um, if there's someone that's there without any money, we try to make sure they have at least $20 to gamble with. Right. Or, you know, at least make them feel like they're part of what's going on. Because it's important. When you yeah. go to Vegas, you don't want to sit there and feel like the person has left out <laughs> of everything. So. Yeah, I can't wait to go. I can I really. Yeah. And there's a, a party we're going to at the rumor next door. Um. And it's a weekend party kind of a thing, so it's yeah, pretty so, much nonstop. So what is that? Um, that's one of the first things I've, I haven't heard yet. But uh, what what is, what do they do or what? Uh, um, <laughs> I know I know. Like I have a, I have an idea what they do, but what's? You tell us what's going to happen, Sandra. Yeah. That's a stereotypical Vegas party. You think of Vegas, and that's pretty much what it is. No, um, but not. it goes through the daytime to the nighttime, and people get naked, and they like to kiss, and they like to. Fondle and they like to do things. Like so things. <laughs> they like to do many different things. Like <laughs> <laughs> Go into details. I want to hear the details. Um, like you, they'll sit there and they'll. There's rooms where they'll have the bed open, mm -hmm. so if people want to have sex, they have sex on the bed. Um, they and people are watching, and other people. I'll um, be watching. <laughs> um, <laughs> another time we were there was um. Have a you room. watched people have sex there before? Yes. Describe it. Why? There's like two. I want to hear it. I would. Yeah, yeah, describe, describe. Okay, well, there's like this porn convention going on last time, right? Um, I'm trying to think. I know there was a chick. I think there was two chicks in the bed. Was it two chicks or two guys? Did you smack one of their asses? No, I did not smack anybody's ass. So, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I want, I want she to had see, a very I want to see nice two ass, girls. But I mean, um, that's yeah. what I want to see. No, I think there are two girls, one guy, or two guys, one girl, I don't know. Anyway, so, um, they were having fun in the bed, and people were watching, and I mean, they were literally, like, the bed was maybe here, mm -hmm. and the chair was here, so maybe about three feet away from the bed is where the, the leg room was. <laughs> so, if even that, maybe even two feet. <laughs> so, it was really kind of, because it's a, a room, you're in a room. And people are there, and there's a bathroom, and there's people walking everywhere. There's uh, porn stars everywhere, oh. and that was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, because you think of porn stars, you're like, oh, they're on the screen, huh? Like, who would you guys meet? Like, uh, like really famous? Who was the first, the most famous oh. <laughs> they met there? Uh, Ron Jeremy was pretty famous. Oh, I loved it. Ron Jeremy. Met Ron Jeremy. We met uh, RVD from WWE. Mm -hmm. um, he was all right. Um, he's cool people. I think he just wanted to hang out and have fun. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, uh, we met Carlton. Uh, <laughs> oh, was he there? Did yes. you see Carlton's dick too? <laughs> no, I did not. But you know, um, <laughs> he's cool people. Um, <laughs> yeah. You should have told. You should have asked him to do the, the Carl Carlton. No, I think Joey did the Carlton right in front of him. <laughs> yeah, I did. Joey did the Carlton right in front of Urkel also, <laughs> or not? Urkel. The, not the Carlton, but he went. Did I do that? <laughs> yeah, was Urkel there too? <laughs> not that time. We actually went up to L.A. because I had to renew my passport. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, we went up to L.A. and walking around for, after we had lunch at the L.A. market. And we ran. We just ran into him. Oh. He was doing a meet and greet. And just <laughs> uh, There was some kind of sci-fi channel thing going on where they had the black box and people had to go in there and mm -hmm. it's all dark. And he was right there. Wow, so. is that... Yep, and he signed a picture and autographed it. Yeah, and I haven't seen him in anything, so... Um, not lately. It's, um, I, I haven't really seen him in too many things. Yeah. So, um, um, show the treasure bag. I'm not What's sure the what the treasure bag? bag is. Joey? You can bypass it. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> bypass that one. No, has got some questions for you. Um, okay. So, but before we do that, I just want to share with you tonight, I'm drinking mimosas, kind of like last time, but with a different wine. It's called a Rufino, and it's a Prosecco from Italy. 
And um, I can actually pronounce it this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's extra dry. And... Well, you never had it before? I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> just bad. drink. Who cares? Just I drink. I just drink. <laughs> oh, God. That sounds bad. No, I don't just drink, but whatever. <laughs> Um, so Rufino Prosecco is produced from beautiful vineyards in the northeastern region of Italy. Creamy and crisp, the sparkling wine has hints of peach and golden apples. That is <laughs> true. Would you like to try some Anonymous D student? Yes, I do. Okay. Just a little bit. But first, I'm going to have some of this in my cup. And then here, you can hold the bottle and you can drink from the bottle. Because I don't have an extra okay. cup. <laughs> Might have cooties, so. <gasps> cooties! Ah! Oh, that's good. It is? Yeah. Yes. Now. So, can I ask you uh, just a couple of questions that I've, I wanted to ask? Okay. Um, one of the things is, how long have you been doing the Wino Hour? That's one of the... How long have... Oh, well, this is episode 31. <coughs> um, unfortunately, it's not been consecutive um, as far as every single week. Uh, it's just life happens and it just kind of bypasses. But I believe it's been about three years or so. 2012. 2012. So we're in 2016. What is that? Three? No, that's four years. Yes, I can four count. Years. I'm just three years. Four years. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So what, what uh, gave you the inspiration to start? Um, Joey made me. <laughs> well, that's always a good idea. <laughs> yeah, he uh, made well, you, but it's it's your show. I mean, it, it's, it's my show. Yeah. You know, it was really Joey's idea, but um, it, it's fun because I get to hang out with people, and then you know, I I don't normally get in front of the camera. I'm not very charismatic. I'm not mm -hmm. like Joey, like ah, I'm out there. <laughs> Woo. I'm not that person. But it's nice. Is that why you drink heard. before? The, I mean, the, the <laughs> <show>? <laughs> like, so you can loosen up. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I have to. By the say way, you it. are charismatic. I, 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 people, I know that people that love your show, mm -hmm. and uh, they say always say great things about your show. So you know, you should be proud. Yeah, thank you very much for all my fans, for everybody that watches this. I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> it's just. I'm not really an out there kind of a person. I'm more shy, but it's what it is. So, so yeah, Joey, Joey I just threw you out there, huh? So. He does that. <laughs> he will <laughs> sit there and put you on the spot like no other, and you just have to roll yeah, with the punches. I think he did that to me, too, so mm -hmm. good for you, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Hmm. All right, um... That's about it. But I wanted to, um, for people that are going to the first time to Vegas, uh -huh. it's. Uh, I'm just want to say that you know it's it's really fun driving up there with you guys, uh -huh. and uh, hopefully we'll have a, a lot of fun. Yeah. So I, I you know, that's I can't plan. Wait. I can't wait. Yeah, hard work every day. You know, you gotta sit there and take a break every once in a while yeah. and go have fun. Yeah. But it's um. I plan on drinking a lot. <laughs> no, I don't drink all the time. Uh -huh. I know I'm drinking right now. But, What's um, your, is that your favorite drink? Is it, uh, a mimosa? Yeah. Uh, well, it's kind of refreshing. Um, actually, speaking of refreshing, last week we went to um, May Day is on May 1st in Germany. And it's just a celebration kind of a thing. Um, nowadays it's more like a Labor Day in Germany um, for simple terms. Um, anyway, I had a beer there. It was called as a Schaffelhofer brand, and it's a grapefruit Hefeweizen. So refreshing. It wasn't a hot day, you know. It was maybe in the mid seventies or whatever, right? Yeah. But it was so yummy. Oh my god, I could have had like six of them. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, I don't know how I would have, I would have gotten home. But <laughs> yeah, either well, way, yeah, mine's Newcastle. I love Newcastle. So. Yeah. Yeah, especially at the ones at the. Yeah! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Crazy Joey. That happened. <laughs> so. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes. Newcastle. Yes, Newcastle, and especially the ones that they have at the slide bar. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, I only need one, and I'm good. That's so. good. That's good. Well, speaking of slide bar, we are having an event 
at the end of the month. Um, the last Thursday, the Thursday before Labor Day, or Labor Day, <laughs> Labor Day, the Thursday before Memorial Day. Memorial. Um, we are going to have an event there, so show up between the hours of 7 and 10. It's important that you show up between 7 and 10. Um, we love it if you show up after also, but it's very important because we get we count the numbers between those hours. So 7 and 10 p.m., get there. Um, we'd love it if you just showed up and hung out and stuff. And I mean, you don't even have to stay that long. Have a drink, have two, have five, I don't care. <laughs> Have six. <laughs> we have a couch. We have a floor. We have extra bl beds and blankets. I always so. stay here. Whenever I get drunk, I stay here. Yeah. Is it's a recording. So, um, yeah. So I'll go ahead and um, talk to you guys later. This is the end of the show. Yay! Until next time, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Yay!